Hey, we're just kind of waiting in the snow. Don't you know? Waiting in the snow. 303 here. Hello, everybody. The plastic. There's absolutely nobody on watching the snowy stuff. It's cool, because uh, sometimes you just put it up there for later, right? You ain't got to watch it all now. We are rolling in the snow in Denver, Colorado. It's so wide out, you can't see a thousand yards down the road. 500 feet, yes, but not a thousand. <laughs> Let's see, can you see the football stadium from here? Barely, that's the stadium. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So guys, the good news is that uh, Michael Whitney of the Corner Bakery 3 Plus one, as Mike, as uh, Eric Brandt likes to call him, the plus one. Uh, Michael Whitney's case dismissed. The government went in and said, we don't have enough evidence to prove this case without a reasonable doubt. And so that's really good because you yeah, have to remember that we can push the government to do that as well as a jury. And that's exactly... Hi from the UK, I'm having a hard time seeing my screen, so I guess I better turn the tint out. There we go. Uh, hi, Paul. Yeah, it is great news, guys. Uh, he said... This is the beautiful snowy weather of Denver, Colorado. And um, I just want to come up here and give you guys all a really good update uh, that uh, Michael Whitney of the Corner Bakery 3 uh, you've seen that video on Eric Grant's channel. He, uh, it's funny. I just got a, 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 an update from 303 Cobb Block on my phone as we're driving. So we know he didn't do it because he's driving. Uh, but there he is wiggling his thumbs, uh, saying hi, giving us a little shaka. This is uh, snowy Denver, Colorado. We did not expect this storm, storm this morning. Uh, so but three we're out in but we're we go to court support. So we went to the courtroom and uh, the the verdict was that Michael Whitney was the first one called to the called to the bench. And the government said, we the people don't have enough evidence to prove this case beyond the reasonable doubt. What does that mean? That means that when you're taking photography in public, it's legal. The Constitution protects it. That if you say, I didn't take her fucking picture, it's legal. Because the Constitution allows it. And the government knew they had their back up against the wall. So good, kind David Lane, the man of the hour, he, uh, he sent one of his guys in with the dismissal notice. Because, see, David didn't even have to do the paperwork. <laughs> David made a phone call. Hey, got to dismiss this. You're not going to prove it. We'll take it to trial, but we probably don't want that. So we're very excited for that, folks. And um, so we're just doing a little video. This is a Colfax, for those of you who don't know. A very historic uh, part of uh, Colorado because Colfax was the longest road uh, in the United States, the longest consecutive road uh, for a very, very long time. So we are on the West Colfax side. We have crossed over the uh, Interstate 25 and past Federal Avenue. Uh, we have the Alamo Draft House up here. Uh, oh, Colorado Donkey Watch. So let me tell you, uh, when I sent the email detailing all this stuff last night, that 303 had gone through, the, uh, the time stamping, the, the statement. At the very end, I added your video. Five minutes or less, uh, roughly, is wanted a video to show the incident. You want to make sure that it's clean. So auditors, if you want us to help try to get you lawyers, we wanna, we wanna, we want you not only to send us a clean video, with a statement that's broken down in, in a page or, or less. Oh, is that the family location? We should stop. 
Uh, no, I'm messing. I don't care. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, you gotta have clean language. When you're talking to whoever it is that you're communicating with, Pretend like you're talking to a federal jury. Or a child. Or a child. Yeah. Right? At a third grade level, that's yeah. a good English level to consider as and, basic. And you gotta expect it to be that stupid. Yeah, to be that smart or to be that educated. Well, yeah, they have to be that educated. Don't okay. expect any more than the third grade level from anybody that you're out filming. Ever. Uh, and, and that means that the language that you use needs to be basic. Simple, concise. And you need to try to explain it to them three million times or just shut your mouth. Right? Don't say anything. So it's either shut the fuck up Friday or you say nothing and you assert your Fifth Amendment or you communicate with somebody explaining the law, explaining things that you have memorized, uh, that you have paper copies of to show them, uh, like GIS. Uh, evidence that this is public, private, or it's public space, not private land, right? That you're filming in a First Amendment manner in space that is tra traditionally, uh, traditional. So filming in public is traditional, right? Walking on the sidewalk, uh, uh, walking through a park, um, taking pictures in the street, right? Um, and taking photographs or being visible in a gallery area, maybe, right? Uh, but here's where we think about this thing. So if you're at a, um, a theater where they do ballet and there's a political candidate speaking inside the theater in private space, and people have paid tickets to go see that person, from the sidewalk outside the theater is absolutely accepted. What's not accepted is the, uh, the, the, the walkway between theaters that is private public space. So that's a key uh, an, an amendment that we are uh, advising, we have learned, and we're not lawyers, of course, so, uh, we don't want you to uh, consider us uh, giving you legal advice. Uh, just friendly considerations that we have learned from other people uh, who might be lawyers and be giving <laughs> us friendly <laughs> advice. So you've heard it from us, folks. Uh, we're the pavilions, no go. The pavilions, right? See that? No okay, go. So look, you guys saw don't me out there. You guys saw me make a scene on the pavilions. You saw me make a pretty good argument. Focus Guess on the drive. What? I found out that I was wrong, everybody. The pavilions is private property. They can and will trespass me. Ooh, and, uh, yeah, focus on driving. I'm focused. We're good. Yeah. So they can and will trespass me, so I won't be taking that fight to them anymore. <laughs> so we're not going to push the develop. The hey, hey guys, who's on there saying hi? Uh, Fitz Cam, Colorado Donkey Watch, watching. WNY is that uh, what's WNY? I don't know what WNY is, but good morning. Uh, yeah, this is beautiful Colfax Avenue. We are now deeply in Lakewood, uh, deep in, in Lake Jeff Lake. Jefferson County. We're deep in Lakewood. We're deep. <laughs> We're rolling it deep, folks. Um, and you know you're deep when you've got uh, when you've got uh, Casa Bonita. Do you guys know what Casa Bonita Casa is? Casa Bonita. Yeah. So that's world famous Casa Bonita right there, folks. They have somebody who dives uh, into a pool from inside that place. I've never been there. Um, I have. The food. Some okay. So the, the tostadas yeah. are the only thing you want to eat that won't make you sick. So you get Montezuma's revenge in uh, Montezuma's house in uh, Lakewood, Colorado, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to... Uh, we haven't been there. Pastor the next uh, pawn shop got turned into an art hub. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. Pastor the next is a very, very famous pawn shop here in Colorado uh, on Colfax. Back in the day when people would drive their cars across the country... When they'd go to the fax, because it went from Golden all the way to Aurora, and that was a big deal, because you were traveling like through three or four cities. Now, uh, you can get on the train on the W line and get all the way to Aurora in uh, about the same amount of time as it takes to drive. 
much more environmentally friendly. So guys, uh, you know, just to do a quick recap here, uh, Michael Whitney of the Corner Bakery 3 plus one uh, had his case dismissed this morning by the government. They did not have enough evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he committed a crime and deserved arrest. Now, Michael Whitney was in jail. Do you know how long Michael Whitney was in jail? Hmm. How long were you in jail? Just over a day. Just over a day with bail. Yeah. And uh, they didn't have court that that day that you were bailed out. Otherwise, it would have been like 50 hours or something that you would have been jailed. Well, Michael Whitney was in jail 53 hours. Uh, he had never been fingerprinted as an adult for the court system in the government. He had no idea who he was. I feel like Eric Brent right now, smiling this shitty and grin. <laughs> Just so you can see it, folks, that's my shitty and grin. Because <laughs> nobody knew who Michael Whitney was. So he was in jail for 54 hours, 50, 53 hours, something like that. And uh, he had his case dismissed. Oops, we're, we're, we're flashing cam backs here. Uh, he got his case dismissed by the government. They didn't have enough evidence to prove that uh, not taking a picture and walking away from a police officer was a crime that deserved uh, uh, any detention at all. So, let's look for that in the in the future as a federal case uh, before a federal jury, probably, or a settlement of sorts. Uh, but we're going to be uh, looking for my dismissal as well. But before we do that, we want to know where the Chavez camera is. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, one of the reasons why we keep asking, where's the camera footage, Chavez, is that in a car and told me to get away from these people. That I didn't know who they were and that uh, they were trying to tie some of them up. And the body cam, the automobile camera, not available. So when we talk about the Denver Police Department acting in a, in a, in a pattern on the 16th Street Mall of attempting to vilify, we forgot to ask them about the, that uh, doctor's thing. We're going to have to do that real quick. Because this is the place that you should go, I think, if you're this living this close. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, guys, uh, they tried to vilify us. They're trying to vilify us, but we're proving them wrong. Uh, case one of four dismissed. Actually, two of four dismissed, because Eric Brandt's case was dismissed uh, the same day. So he was arrested, detained, ticketed, and missed the charges on the spot. 